shoes, these ain't no Steve Madison. Got me ballin' like McGrady, I just pose a tracy. With these stuff, I'm on rock, got me really spicy. I made a promise to my daughter, I'ma give her to him. Hey, I told my mama we gon' make it out. Alright, you guys, so this is going to be just a walkthrough of my home recovery house. Right now, I'm in like the living room area, and they have. It's kind of neat because they don't have like glass windows. This is all screen door. Well, screen windows. But I think it's neat because I guess if it ever like rains or anything, it'd be kind of neat to just sit down, watch TV, and listen to the rain. Um, it is a TV in here that does have Netflix. This is the office area. I'm just going to take you down there. Right here is where you can eat, a dining room area. This door right here is a uh, one of the rooms with beds. This is another room with bed. And then this is where like the nurses and like the people that cook your food, they sit there. Um, this is like another little sitting area. Mirrors and stairs. This is the front door. Um, one thing I can say about my home recovery is that it's so secure. Like literally, they have like the camera up there, and there's also a guy that sits up there. Um, he watches everybody that comes in, and you know, gives permission for people to leave and go and stuff like that. Um, it's all locked. Like this door is locked, nobody can come in. I'm gonna take y'all to the front so you can see. There's bars everywhere as well. Like, so can't nobody break in and you could just, they leave like windows and doors and everything wide open. And I think that that's cool because it's always like a really good breeze that comes in. Um, on the little patio area, it has a couple rocking chairs. I like to come out here and just sit. The breeze is always really, really nice. Matt that says, welcome to my home. I think that was cute. And then, has some little medical things up in here. This is another little sitting area right there. I'm gonna take all the stairs. Another little room. Yeah. Right the bathroom. More rooms up here. More rooms, more rooms, more rooms. There's plenty of rooms up in here. This is my room, me and my surgery sister's room. It's an extra bed, nobody's sleeping there now. My room, my room. They give you drawers to put your stuff in. The beds, they like hospital beds, but they do lift up and go down and stuff like that. This is the bathroom for us right here. And then we each have like our own little closet area. So it's real spacious. Like I stated, so far this process has been a really good process. Like, I love the recovery home. And then also, their food is really good. Like, they can't really put, you know, like, much seasoning in it because just like the hospitals, they don't want, like, any swelling or any allergic reactions or, you know what I'm saying, blood, uh, high blood pressure or anything. They don't want any complications with the food. So, um, other than that, it's really good food. They give you three meals a day, snacks in between time. They're really, really nice here. Like, I love it. I'm definitely happy with the doctor that I chose. Definitely happy with the recovery home. And I'm pretty much all set. I'm going to make this video. I'm trying to make it as short as I can. Um, but other than that, yeah. It's been, you know, a great journey so far. And I am definitely going to make another video the day of surgery once we complete that out and everything and we'll go from there so i appreciate y'all for tuning in and have a good rest of your night
the he mad as Got me ballin' like McGrady, I just pulled the train Really stuff a moon rock, got me really spicy Made a promise to my daughter, I'ma give her to him I told my mama we gon' make it out